Good morning, everyone. Let's prepare our hearts and minds for prayer. Father God, I come boldly to your throne of grace, just thanking you for this day, oh God. I thank you, Lord, for life, health, and strength. I thank you, God, for allowing us to see another day. I thank you, God, and I pray that you will allow us to go through this day with confidence, knowing that you know what this day entails for us and trusting that all is well. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Welcome or welcome back to Faith Field Friday. Good morning. My name is Tara. For those of you that are new and for those of you that are returning, I do thank you guys so much for being here with me today. This is Faith Field Friday. Um, for those of you that are new, what I do over here is scripture reading and writing. I do follow Anika's Creative Closet, her scripture reading and writing plan. And for the month of August, it is titled The Study of Jesus and His Teaching. This also includes journaling prompts. So we're going to get started. I pray that everyone is doing well. I'm doing good. No complaints. It's super early. You guys know I am heading out to work very, very soon. Let's just turn to last Friday's scripture. And because we're studying Jesus and his teachings, you guys will see a lot of these scriptures are written in red, which indicates the words of Jesus. Last Friday, August 16th, was John 6 and 35, and it reads, And Jesus said to them, I am the bread of life. He who comes to me shall never hunger, and he who believes in me shall never thirst. Amen. Our journaling prompt for John 6 and 35 reads, How does Jesus satisfy your spiritual hunger and thirst? Reflect on ways you can seek him more fully. Saturday was August 17th, Matthew 5 and 9, and it reads, Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called sons of God. Amen. Our journaling prompt for that reads, In what ways can you be a peacemaker in your family, community, or workplace? Write about a situation where you can bring peace. Sunday, August 18th was John 15 and 13, and it reads, Greater love has no one than this, than to lay down one's life for his friends. Amen. And our journaling prompt for that reads, how can you show sacrificial love to those around you? Reflect on the relationships where you can demonstrate greater love. Amen. So we will go on to our current week. I'll just remove the scripture focus card for this week for now. And Monday was August 19th and it was Luke 9 and 23 and it reads then he said to them if anyone desires to come after me let him deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me amen our journaling prompt for luke 9 and 23 reads what daily practices help you deny yourself and follow jesus write about the challenges and rewards of this commitment this is a really good scripture and a really good journaling prompt. All of them are, but I just love this one specifically. I went in great detail in my journal with this one here. Okay, so Tuesday, August 20th was John 14 and 27, and it reads, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you, not as the world gives do I give to you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. Amen. And our journaling prompt for that says, How do you experience the peace that Jesus gives? Reflect on a time when his peace overcame your fears. Absolutely. That was a good one also. Wednesday, August 21st was Matthew 18 and 20. And it reads, For where two or three are gathered together in my name, I am there in the midst of them. Amen. And our journaling prompt for that reads, How does gathering with other believers strengthen your faith? Write about a memorable time of fellowship or worship. I love this one also. And then Thursday was John 10 and 10, and it reads, The thief does not come except to steal and to kill and to destroy. I have come that they may have life and that they may have it more abundantly. Amen. 
And our journaling prompt for that reads, what does living life to the full mean to you? How do you experience this abundant life through Jesus? Amen. We'll move on to our scripture for today, which comes from Matthew 6, 19 through 21. I did write out only the 21st verse because I have limited space here. And that reads, for where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. Amen. Our journaling prompt for that reads, reflect on what treasures in heaven you are storing up. How do your actions and priorities align with this teaching? Amen. So I'm going to write that here with you guys. For where your, let's write treasure in these block letters that I've been doing lately. I like this, you guys. It just adds a little dimension to my scripture writing. I have to be careful though, because my space is very limited. <laughs> it's very simple for those of you that may be interested in how I do that. It's very simple. <laughs> for where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. Amen. I do apologize, you guys. I don't know what my neighbors are doing, but they're very loud this morning. I know some people like to get up early and get started with things, you know, in the yard and around the house, but it's really loud today, so I do apologize. What I do here, you guys, is write out the scripture on my heart. And this just means one of these scriptures that stuck out to me the most. And I know it's going to be Matthew 8 and 20. So I'm going to write that here in the box with my paper made flare. Actually, I'm going to take this out so I can have room to write it. Matthew 18 and 20. And it is in red letter, so I'm going to go back to my red pen. And I do a fancy first letter over here on Faith Field Friday. For those of you that are new, for those of you that are not, you guys already know. <laughs> I just love the play on words. So let's see how we can make this fancy F. Trying to make a nice cursive F. There we go. I think that's pretty good. Okay. For where two or three are gathered. Together, in my name, yes, Lord, I, I'm just going to make that bold, too, I am there in the midst of them. Amen. Amen. I love that scripture, you guys, because I do believe that when we come together for Faith Feel Friday, we come in Jesus' name and we come to share scripture. We come to encourage one another in the word. And I do believe that God will bless our efforts. And I know that he is here in the midst of us. So again, I thank you guys for being here with me, and I know that this is pleasing unto God because we're here sharing his word, and we're here together. As many of us that can come together in Jesus' name, I know 
this puts a smile on his face. So thank you guys again for your sacrifice, giving your time um, to be here with me and to engage in Faith Feel Friday. I do appreciate you guys. All right, so we are going to cross off that I did my devotional and scripture writing for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. I'm going to read that with you guys today. And I did my scripture writing those days as well. And let's get into our devotional. Let's see what we have here. Super excited for our devotional. This is the Thrive Devotional Bible. Um, it's made by Tyndale and it's the NLT version. I got this from Amazon. It is linked below. However, I'm not sure if it's in stock. Um, it did not come tabbed. I bought these tabs also on Amazon, um, but everything is linked below. And we are 236 days into the year. Our devotional for today, Wait one second. Can't get started without these. <laughs> Tara, you know better. Okay. Our devotional for today is titled Living Beyond Ourselves. And it reads, if anyone gives you a cup of water because you belong to the Messiah, I tell you the truth, that person will surely be rewarded. Mark 9 and 41. And our love letter from God reads, Beloved daughter, I know you have a desire in your heart to do something great to change the world. I placed it there. You're not called to live a life of mediocrity. I want you to thrive as you live out my purposes. I see even the littlest thing that you do that points to me, and I will reward you in extraordinary ways. Don't be afraid to step out in faith and meet a need. You will find that the more you refresh others, the more refreshed you will feel because you are doing the will of your Father. Come to me every morning and ask me to open your heart to my plan for the day. Every day, we'll have a surprising gift for you to give away so others can find me. Love your Heavenly Father. Whew, okay. The reflection for today reads, many times we don't try to do things for God because we buy the lie that they have to be big to be effective. However, Jesus tells us that even giving a cup of water in his name will be rewarded. Start with the little things, a word of encouragement or an act of service. The more you give for his glory, the more you will receive from God. Amen. The treasure of truth says the littlest things done for God's glory are greater than the biggest things done for our own. And our prayer over here says, dear God, give your daughter perspective and open her heart to serve others so she can bring glory to your name. Help her see what you value in Jesus name. Amen. I love, love, love this devotional you guys it spoke to me today um it really did and i'm trying to fight back tears because who life has been lifing just let me say that life has been lifing i pray you guys and i just said it before i read this i pray that you guys are encouraged and that you enjoy being here with me just as much as I enjoy you being here with me. Um, because I know, I know you guys, that God is going to bless my efforts. And I don't do this just to get likes or comments or subscribers. I am sharing what I do on a daily basis with you guys. This is what I do. It's what I have always done, reading the Bible, doing scripture writings and everything like that ever since I became saved. Um, and I just thought um, to share it with you guys. When I started this channel, my planning and everything, it included my faith planner. And this is just a part of who I am. This is a part of how I live. This is a part of what I do on a daily basis. And I do believe that as long as we're striving to be better and we're bringing awareness to people, we're bringing um, God's word to each other, we're encouraging each other, then I do believe God will be pleased with our efforts.
So with that being said, I know I got a little tongue tied. Um, I don't know, you guys, you interact with me so much in the comments and I am so, so grateful for each and every one of you. I had no idea that anybody even wanted to tune in or wanted to know what it is I'm doing over here, but um, it's not hard. It's very simple. I have a planner. I write out my scriptures. I pick a scripture, um, reading and writing plan. And honestly, you can write it in anything that you have a basic tablet. You don't need all these stickers. It's just what I like to do. And it keeps me motivated coming into my faith planner when it's all decorated. And it's just what I like to do. And I just continue to pray that God will bless my efforts. Let's go ahead and pull our scripture focus card for next week and I want to see which pack I want to use I have them both here and these are scripture cards that I get from Dollar Tree you guys they are normally found near the register but let's put our scripture focus card back for this week for now I will turn here and we'll get these cards out Let's see what we have here. Mm. Going to shuffle these. Yeah, I think it's so important, you guys, that we encourage one another. You know, we are all God-fearing Christians, and this is how we stay grounded in the word we link up with like-minded christians um and we just continue to do the best we can and um just you know so many people are falling away from god it just warms my heart that you guys join me um for faith field fridays so let me see what we have here i think i want to pick this one let's go with that one and it reads, in repentance and rest is your salvation. In quietness and trust is your strength. Isaiah 30 and 15. Amen. Let's punch that. Okay. All right. We will put this here for next week. And I'm just going to write this on my page here so I can include it in the description box below. That was Isaiah 30 and 15. Alrighty. And I think that's it, you guys. So we pulled our scripture focus card for next week. I wrote out today's scripture with you guys, which came from Matthew 6, 19 through 21. This is verse 21 only. Um, I did the scripture on my heart and I crossed off for the devotional and scripture writing for the week. And I do thank you guys so much for being here with me. I pray that you will have a blessed day. Have a blessed weekend and a blessed week ahead. Lord willing, until we meet back here next Friday. Father God, I thank you for this time that you've allowed us to spend together in your word. I pray that we will meditate on your word day and night, Lord God, and that it will live in our hearts and in our minds and that we'll share your word, oh God, that we will continue to be encouraging, Lord God, by how we live our daily lives. We thank you now. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you guys again for being here with me. Oh, I do have one thing. Okay. I wanted to put a little bug in your ear because tomorrow I will be sharing something new on my channel that I have also incorporated in my daily routine. Um, I'm not going to go into detail because I'll go into greater detail tomorrow, but I wanted to let you guys know today so you can be sure to come back and check it out on my channel tomorrow, which is Saturday. Um, this here is the connector. It is a 2024 self-care journal for Christian women. I am going to give a full review of this and I want to let you guys know how I've been using it. So make sure you 
Keep a lookout on my channel so that you don't miss the review of this self-care journal for women. Until next time, you guys, keep praying, keep planning, and make it pretty.